Good morning, Pioneers. Today is Thursday, January 19th, and you're watching PTV. Did you know that taking the advanced video class is a major GPA boost, and students taking the class are 75% more likely to graduate near the top end of their class? Even though I just made those facts up, it doesn't change the fact that PTV is looking for new members to join the crew next year. Wait a second. Let's back up a bit. What even is PTV, and why should you join it? The advanced video class taught by Miss Waters are the creators of videos like the one you're watching right now. Entirely student produced, each episode contains news about the school and local community while also allowing students to add their own creative spins on the final product. But let's just not hear it from me. Here's the PTV crew with why they joined PTV. I'm Brady Waters. I'm a junior. Um, next year will be my senior year in PTV. Um, I do a lot of things for PTV. I edit video, I shoot video. I, I mainly help though behind the teleprompter when we're recording the script for PTV. My name is Mrs. Waters and I am the advisor for Pioneer TV, which is our broadcast program here. And I think that anybody who is interested in a career in video or just interested in exploring video creation or um, video editing, learning about audio video, PTV is a great class. Um, in order to be prepared for it and be ready for it, you have to take audio video, um, which is video one. So when you enroll this year, make sure that you check that box. You don't have to take anything before that class. You can just join us next fall in video one and we'll get you all set up and ready to go. So how do you join? The path to getting into PTV is actually quite simple. Take a semester of video one to learn the basics and get a feel for the course, then apply for advanced video and join the crew. Anyone can join and get started producing videos. If you have any questions, contact myself or Miss Waters in room 205. Now let's check out what's happening in the world of Pandora. Here's a review of Avatar Way of Water. Here's Sam Valencia. Good morning, Pioneers. This is Sam from PTV with a quick recap of Avatar The Way to Water. 13 years in waiting for this movie to come out in December 16th, 2022. It's 3 hours and 12 minutes long, but to me it felt like 15 or 20 minutes. Jake Sully and Nitiri have formed a family and are doing everything to stay together. However, they must leave their home and explore the regions of Pandora. When an ancient threat resurfaces, Jake must fight a difficult war against the humans. It's a good movie, just like the first one. In my opinion, I like the new characters, I like the new tribes, and the new animals. But I can't wait for the next movie to come out in 10 or 13 years. Oh wait, they plan on the next movie to come out on 2024. This is Sam from PTV, signing off. Thanks, Sam. And back on our planet, here's Liam letting us know how all seniors are adapting their early release schedules. This semester has brought many new experiences to the LBHS senior class, like senior release. Senior release gives seniors the flexibility to create their own school schedules and is an exciting change for seniors. I'm Liam with PTV, and I'm here to find out what exactly seniors think about senior release. I think that it's pretty awesome. I don't have to be at school, you know, for very long. Well, I mean... I still have five classes, but I don't have to be at school for as long, so, or six classes. I can't do math, apparently. I like it. I don't need uh, eight classes worth of credit hours, so it is nice to just be able to go home after I get the credit hours I do need. Senior release is, is really fun. Having a little break, a little break time, I can go with lunch during class sometimes, or I can just wake up early on some days. So, I don't have a seventh or eighth hour but I still go to my eighth hour from last semester because Miss Rupp is awesome and I want to go back to creative writing. But on, yeah, on odd days, I just leave early. I don't have an eighth hour, so at the end of the eighth hour, I'll go home. If I have to pick up my sister, I'll just sleep in my car. My second hour and my eighth hour free, so I have free periods on blue days and I have a, a little hole in my schedule on full days. It's definitely leaving early because as much as I would like like late start, uh, I have classes in the morning that I need to go to, like AP Psych and my RO Leadership Hour where I go to the middle school. So I kind of have to go to those. So early release is nice. I get to go home and take a nap before wrestling. With senior release, not having an eighth hour, it lets me go into work. So I'll work two to 10 instead, which lets me get a little bit more money. Uh, to all my to all my homies out there that are not seniors, get excited for senior release second semester next year. It's awesome. Sounds like you guys are going to be busy seniors. Good luck. Now from Just Wanna Rock to Run It, here is Annalise Murphy with some popular TikTok sounds. The viral app TikTok has become a day-to-day -day thing for teens. 
Teens can spend up to hours looking through videos of more than just dances, but relatable TikToks, and even may make some of them themselves. Many students at Leavenworth High School feel the same way and spend a lot of time on this app. Let's take a look at some of those examples. I went ahead and interviewed a few students playing some TikTok sounds to see what they would do. I feel like I'm on TikTok a lot of the time, and I'm on TikTok most of my day. I'm on TikTok because it's entertaining, and I see a lot of people, and it kills time. Many of you may be on or see your friends and family on this app. Some of you create, and some of you just watch. Sometimes it is very entertaining. It is more than just a source of communication with sending TikToks back and forth but it's also a fun, creative place to show another outlet. Thanks, Annalise. This semester, we have a new PTV member. Connie Diaz joins us with her first ever PTV segment. Take it away, Connie. Hi, this is Connie Diaz Hernandez with PTV, and we're about to do an outfit check. Follow me. What are you wearing today? Uh, affordable clothes from Old Navy. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I got these shoes from the thrift store. Um, I got these pants from Rue 21, and I also got this hoodie from the thrift store. What are you wearing today? Well, I'm wearing some very basic kind of clothing items. I have on my black skinny cords from Loft Outlet, and my black cardigan from Gap Outlet, and a white, basic white t-shirt also from Gap Outlet. As you can tell, I love outlet shopping. <laughs> what are you wearing today? Um, I'm wearing a thrifted Old Navy shirt. Um, I use it as a jacket. I got this jacket from one of my friends, shout out to Renee. I got this Holistein shirt from a restaurant in Las Vegas. Thrifted cargo pants, Adidas that I got for Christmas from the Adidas website. And that's pretty much it, besides the AirPod I got from Apple, so. Where'd you get your outfit? Okay, I got these from It's a Beautiful Day in Kansas City, and this from Earthbound, and this from Forever 21. And then I made these because my art teacher gave me a bunch of fabric. And my shoes are Nike. What are you wearing today? Uh, jeans from Goodwill. I got this BB Simon belt. I got this jacket. I don't even know where I got this from. Got this necklace from Hot Topic. Got these beats by Dre. I stole it from my brother. And got these glasses. That's about it. Leavenworth High School has so many students with a great fashion sense. I thought it was time that we finally gave them some recognition. Thank you for watching. That was an amazing way to start your PTV career. Let's take another look at our future movie director, Bella, who made a short film today to end the show.
That was Dust Bowl, a short film created and directed by Bella Babich. That's all today, Pioneers. Until next time, I'm Joaquin Davila, and this has been PTV.